look, we've got the, you know, the head strategist, the Bank of England, saying the dollar within two to five years will be gone, maybe even faster. All these other world leaders are now saying it, I guess trying to signal that. Uh, there may come a time when you can't buy gold and silver with Federal Reserve notes. Folks, you need to move into gold and silver right now. Bob A., is this a good deal, Ted's offering? Uh, B., um, why is you know gold and silver important to hold? Well, first of all, gold and silver is important to hold because it's the ultimate money. And when you have a devaluation, the value of what you own in gold and silver is going to go up in value versus uh, the, the paper currency. As far as the uh, francs are concerned, they're an excellent buy. Excellent. In fact, there's, there's, uh, it, it's this extraordinary buy. But the point is, even after the francs are gone, they're sold out. You've got to continue to keep on buying. It's the only safe place for you to be. By the way, that's the next point. You know, Ted's been doing this 30 years. Uh, you've been doing it even longer than that. Uh, but, you know, as a broker, just analyzing it, not on the, not on the hard sales side, Ted, even though most of his competition can't even find francs and, and things, they're now sending him. Most of them are uncirculated, meaning they're getting down to their last stores, Bob. Well, uh, that is not surprising with the reports I hear uh, coming in from all over the world that it's extraordinarily difficult to get gold and silver, and particularly in coins. Well, that, I mean, you know, this is everywhere. Let me fire the number out, 800-686-2237, 800-686-2237. And there'll be brokers there till midnight Friday. And, Ted, does this deal go through the weekend? Yeah, we'll hold it right through the weekend. 800-686-2237. Uh, folks, we're going to start the next hour, and I want Ted to be able to finish up his one-minute comment, then I'll take one or two final calls. For Bob Chapman. But again, that number, 800 686 2237. Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. All the callers that have been holding, if you want, you can talk to Alan Watt. If not, you can hang up. But we're going to go to Andrew in London in a moment. That's all we have time for with Bob Chapman because we've got Alan Watt coming up. Everybody else will get to you. We just wanted to talk to Bob. You can hang up, as I said. Uh, but, uh, Ted, do you have 50 buffaloes to offer today as well? I didn't get enough time to say that. I do have the buffaloes as well, and they're currently right now at 1,036. I am, again, going to limit that supply just to 50 because it's it's trickling. And, and your now, point... again, those have, a bit, you know, those have huge premiums everywhere else. That's a lot more per ounce of gold than the francs, but that's because they're, they're you know, that's more of a collectible because they're very scarce. The francs, the sovereigns, you've got them all, 800-686-2237. What was the final point you wanted to make, Ted? Well, the final point was you're talking about at some point in time, paper currency can't buy gold or won't buy gold, and that's already occurring. The supplies of gold in the in the physical market with the with the coins are, are drying up, and and you're trying to trade paper for gold. I mean, think about it: paper for gold. Why would paper be worth gold? And the only reason why it is is because the United States government has been, you know, living on a legacy that paper was once exchangeable for gold, and and since then we've lost all fiscal responsibility, and there's no budget that's being held with any kind of any kind of containment, and the print printing press is just merging on and obviously paper will not buy gold in the future and I suggest that you do it now while it can. 800-686-2237, 800-686-2237. You're not going to find a better deal on those francs and sovereigns anywhere else and that's a great deal also on the buffaloes. But again, that's more of a collector coin because the mint sold out of them, what, six, eight months ago. Thank you, Ted Anderson. Yeah, thanks for having me up, Alex. You bet. And that goes throughout Sunday evening, I guess into Monday morning. Uh, Bob Chapman, uh, we're going to take a call from London, Andrew, but in closing, anything you want to add to what Ted said? No, I think he covered it pretty good. Andrew in London, you're on the air with Bob Chapman, the international forecaster.com. Go ahead. Hi, guys. Um, I know you guys recommend gold. I think that's great. I wanted to ask you about Treasury inflation protected securities, the Treasury bonds linked to inflation. Uh, what's wrong with that as an idea, in addition to gold? Well, the major problem is the linkage on the CPI figure is bogus. So if you have a 2.5% yield uh, on a uh, uh, inflation-protected security, such as a 10-year note, and inflation in reality right now is probably somewhere 
in the vicinity of 11%, why would one want to do that and have a guaranteed loss and pay taxes too? Right. I was just thinking as, you know, if you don't want to put everything into gold, then you might try some of these as well. But um, Oh, I think well, I, I, I steer away from the U.S. currency. Uh, there's not a lot of people who agree with me, but that's that's normal for me. And uh, I've been recommending Swiss franc government bonds. Right. Uh, the whole lot, right. that to me is, is the best shot. But the best shot among currencies, if that's where you have to be, if you don't have to be there, you got to be in gold and silver. Right. And how do you recommend buying currencies then? I, I essentially don't. Oh. Okay. I mean, sir, I, I think the bonds are a better vehicle. They usually yield about 1%. And if you must be there, I think that's the best shot. Okay, uh, great. Thanks. Uh, sir, I mean, if you have tremendous assets, I would be greatly diversified. But uh, for the average person, gold and silver is the way to go or to have paid off property. But with property taxes, you really don't own it. And they can take it that way, too. Right, Bob? That's right. So you got to have some of those Federal Reserve notes available in order to pay that tax. It's extraordinarily important. All right. Bob Chapman, I want to thank you. Folks can get a free copy of the International Forecaster uh, when they uh, call Midas Resources at 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. I want to thank you for coming on. We'll talk to you again next week, Lord willing. Okay. Thank you, Alex. Bye-bye. Thank you, Bob. There he goes. All right. We'll come back with Alan Watts. Stay with me.